Okay, it's six o'clock. I'd like to yeah. welcome everybody to call the meeting to order. If you would please stand for the pledge and indication of Christ and with me, please. Let us pray. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, it's again the end of the end of the day. We're so thankful, Lord, that you let us live for this day. Dear Father, we ask that you be with us tonight and anything done in this meeting be according to thy will. Forgive us of many sins and shortcomings. We only pray in thy name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good second item is reading and approval of, or of uh, last meeting's minutes. Have a move and second to approve the minutes from the last meeting. Any discussion? All those in favor, please raise your hand. The motion carries unanimously. The third item is old business, which we had none. Um, the fourth item of business or is, is new business, and we have uh, three items tonight. Is that correct? One of them has been withdrawn. Which one is The that? first one, the Frank and Deborah McDaniel. Okay, that one's gone. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Rodney. Um, the, all right, so the first item will be a rezone request RZ-10-18-1254. I'd like to announce that we're going to open up for a public hearing for this rezone request. And I'd like to ask Rodney what the county's recommendation is, please. Sir, we, uh, after doing the study on it, the compatibility with adjacent uses and districts are uh, zoned rural residential and agricultural and are compatible. Uh, the property value may have reasonable economic use, suitability, the proposed land use intensity district uh, is suitable for this property. Vacancy and marketing, that information is not available. The applicant has expressed a need for this type of service for Pickens County. The proposal may not result in a use causing an excessive or burdensome use of existing streets or utilities, and it is consistent with comprehensive plan, and it is districted for that as well. Is uh, Stacy Bagwell here? I'm David Walker. I'm here on behalf of Mr. Mr. Bagwell. Mr. Bagwell actually got hung up in traffic, and he's on his way. He was at one of the crossroads when I talked to him about five minutes ago. Um, but his wife, Christy's here, and this is a project that's near and dear to her heart, so she'll certainly be involved in it. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, I will briefly, and if I may, I thought it would be helpful to provide a little bit of additional information about what uh, this facility was going to be, if, I don't, if you don't mind, I'll sit on here. Absolutely. Thank you. As you can see, they've had drawings already commenced. This is some property Mr. Bagwell has owned for quite some time. Um, they're on Puckle Rock Highway. Um, this is a facility they anticipate using for not just weddings. I know right now that's a popular feature um, of this outdoor, outdoor style wedding. Uh, they're certainly wanting to do that but they also see it as being an event center for corporate events, um, uh, family events, uh, art shows, uh, Community shows, things of that nature, where you need a large facility with um, consummate parking, etc. Uh, I know one of the things that they wanted to correct was in the initial application. I believe they said it was in the, the hours would be from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, they would like to correct that so that it would just be till 10 p.m. After looking at what other facilities in the community are doing, we see that most of their hours are 10 p.m. And so the objective was. To stay in line with what the community had already approved. <clears throat> so to that extent, um, that, that would be a revision that they would suggest on their own in terms of limiting those hours of operation. One of the things that they're other than also going to do, because um, they own the facility and, and they all have a shared interest in making sure that these are responsible um, events that are going on, is a limit of 25 years for anybody who wants to rent the facility. 
the idea being that if somebody's getting married and they want to use it for a wedding and they might be under 25, they'll certainly have family, parents, etc. that can sign for it. But what we don't want to do is have college parties, things of that nature, where you have people that are maybe not old enough to act responsibly. Uh, and again, their shared interest is they want to protect their facility um, and, and they have an interest in that, certainly. And this is Mr. Bagel, by the way, who was able to uh, show up and join us. So <clears throat> that's another revision. You can see on this aerial, oh, pardon me. This is a large parcel, um, and uh, it's fairly secluded. So the actual uh, facility itself will be in this pastured area right here. Uh, there's a pond down here, uh, and there's already, if you can tell by looking on the aerial, there's already a rough cut, uh, log road, something of that nature. They're going to clean that up so that you can access it. It's certainly not going to clear or cut or anything of that nature. The idea simply being that you could get down to that pond if you wanted to be able to use it because it's a pretty piece of property. Um, on this side, you see for the most part the area is surrounded by trees. They're going to come in with some additional evergreens to, the, to these neighbors to the south. They've already spoken with them to my knowledge. There's been no objection from the neighbors to the south. But nonetheless, the idea would be that Along this fence line, we just come in with some evergreens and dress that up as well. Um, at this time, if there's any questions from the board, I would certainly be happy to hear those and try and address them. How, how far away from the neighboring property line is the building going to set? Um, I don't have an exact measurement, uh, but seeing that this entire parcel is 31 acres, uh, and the location will be approximately here in the middle, it's a pretty meaningful distance from both sides. They're going to be equal distance, uh, basically equal distance from both sides. I wonder how far that is across there. Would you say 200 feet, 300 feet? <coughs> so I was trying to see if I had a scale on this particular. <coughs> You know how about how far it is from one property line to the other there? Uh, the road frontage on that piece of property is about, I want to, it was either 510 or 410. Okay. So if you can see this wide is out a little bit, so we would say approximately 500 feet from that area. I mean, what's the square footage of the building that and the square footage of the bill is about 6,500. That's right. See, I want, I want to interrupt you say we're, we're um, a little confused there. We're talking about the rezone request for rural residential to agriculture. You, you, I think you jumped to the conditional use, which is the third item on the agenda. Okay. Well, I apologize. They kind of they live together in our world. I, I understand. So we're going to step back and go back to item two, which is the rural residential to agriculture rezone request as opposed to the conditional use. Okay. We'll get that here in a moment. So is there anything you'd like to address on the rezoning from uh, rural residential to agriculture? I wouldn't have anything to add to that other than it was at one time agriculture, Mr. Bagel several years ago took it to rural residential, so he would just be taking it back to where it was. And as was said earlier, that's in keeping with the general makeup of this area and the uh, use plan. Is there anything that y'all like to have, Mr. Bagel? You know, I don't think it's going to hurt the community. Um, we're we're hoping to uh, do some stuff this time of year where there's not a whole lot of weddings. Let me interrupt you. We're, we're talking about the rezone request from rural residential to agriculture, not the special events facility. Because you got two, you got two separate requests here. We're dealing with rural residential to agriculture, which is okay. the second item on the agenda. The third one will be the conditional use, which is the special events venue. That will be the third or the next item. So we we'll, might be done. Okay. Good. Any questions y'all like to ask regarding the rezone request? Yeah. 
if not, um, we have some people that would like to speak regarding agenda item number two. The first would be um, Jane and Michael Byrne. Is that right, Burns? If you would please state your name and address. And Jane Burns, 3539 Talking Rock Road. Okay. What, what, what would you like to, uh, again, My, this, this be directed to the board, not to the... My concern is, um, why is the zoning going from residential to agricultural instead of possibly commercial? What makes it agricultural? Because currently uh, the Pickens County Zoning Ordinance does not have a uh, mechanism to where you can do it under a commercial setting. That is one of the things that uh, the board and I have discussed about uh, upgrading the, the code of ordinances to try to include something to, to address this type of issue. But currently there's nothing in there other than going to an agricultural and then following that up with a conditional use. Well, one of my questions is, the, the building across the street from us is, is uh, uh, commercial, I was told. And so there is commercial property out there. So how did that get zoned commercial if, if there's no, no way to do that? Well, no, so there's, there's a, is, he's not talking about zoning commercial to have this special events venue Roddy please correct me if I'm wrong it doesn't fall into that it doesn't category. Have to fall into commercial it, it would have to fall into agriculture because the way our local ordinances are, are adopted right as of right now which is one thing that we will be working on first year um, so right now this is the only method or, or zoning that if somebody does want to have a special events venue, it has to fall under agriculture. And the reason, I mean, the reason the other properties are commercial, when I don't know when they were zoned commercial, when ever maybe back in 05, when it was open to whatever you wanted to pick with your uh, with the county adopted zoning. Um, if you were a property owner, then you were free to have it oh, zoned whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My turn now. Oh, I mean, no, I'm good. Oh, you're good? Okay. <laughs> uh, is it Katie Knox? That would be me. Yes, sir. So, in other parts of the world, you can use rural residential for bed and breakfast as as a subgenre. The, the thing with agriculture is that agriculture opens the door for chicken farms, for hog farms, for people to run cattle, to have an adverse effect on our property value. In and of itself, an event center, that's a whole different ball of wax, but just changing the zoning of the property around us could negatively affect our property values extremely. Because in the event that this doesn't work, and somebody comes along and says, hey, I'm going to put a chicken farm there. What's to stop them if it's zoned agriculture? As, instead of taking it and saying, this is rural residential with an addendum saying that you can have this sort of event center slash bed and breakfast type deal, that would protect the surrounding properties. Because I can assure you, it took me two and a half years to find a piece of property that I would buy because of chicken farms. And while there is one sort of bordering kind of a mile away, it's not right next door. And most of those are moving towards a different direction, but I do not want to see the opportunity there for a chicken farm to be next door. Anybody else you want to add? Plenty of things, but we'll just start with that. <laughs> you've, got, you've got several minutes, so. Well, so you. I'm just saying that, that in the event that you are going to change zoning, Please pay attention to the adverse effects that it could have to the surrounding properties and their values. Because property is the biggest investment that anybody can make. And it's unfortunate for our property values to be subject to the whims. 
of the winds of the wind, really. But change in, change in the zoning would really adversely affect that. Mr. Cavan? Actually, I circled number two in error. I should have circled number three. But okay, Katie ex expressed my concerns. I, you don't need to hear it twice. I don't think you've got you've got the that's up to you. You've got, you've got the four. She she covered the issues I I would have. I should have circled three too. I should have circled two and three. I, I, really, I, I want to address the third one. Okay, well if you want to wait until we get to the third. Yes. Well, consider me circle two three as well, please. So, Rodney, what are the um, their concerns about chicken farms and that sort of thing? What are the issues there relative to the size of this property relative to Currently, other ordinances in our uh, code of ordinances, you have to have 550 foot, I believe it is, set back for chicken houses if they were to go in. Uh, she is correct. They are correct in the agricultural setting. Uh, you could have chicken houses, you could have uh, other types of animal yards. In the current zoning setting, they could split it up into about 25, 30 lots and put double wide mobile homes on them. So, I mean, unfortunately, you've got you pick and choose. The mobile homes that situation is under a rural residential and not the Yes, well, that's what this property is currently zoned as, rural residential. The two adjacent properties are already zoned to agricultural? Yes. Yeah, there's... There are two adjacent properties that are agricultural. So. Any other questions or comments from the board? And here's, I assume these are chicken houses right down here? Yes, sir. And there's also some others uh, in the other direction as well, as I believe. There's some to the northeast and then some to the south, southwest. Ms. Bagwell, how long have you owned this property? I'd say probably 15 years, somewhere in there. 15, 16 years. And you've just been mm -hmm. enjoying its natural state? Just been sitting there. My dad's hunted it for, uh, he just deer hunted it. Some of the kids from the church have hunted on it, and that's about all we've used it for. So it's been in the family for a long time? Yeah. And it's not in your current plan to sell it to anybody else at this point? Yeah. I'm sorry, but hasn't it been for sale for at least the last uh, excuse, five years? Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Given, given what, what, you address what, us, back not here. one another, please. Yeah. Yeah. Given the current values of land, um, it's not worth half what I give for it 15 years ago in Pickens County. So that's, you know, um, but yes, it has been for sale, as the young lady stated, uh, but that's just been out there for sale. Real estate agent said I knew wanted to put it on the market and I said, you know, hey, help yourself but you're not gonna sell it because it's not gonna bring the money. It just won't bring it. And um, so uh, my intent was just to keep it and just keep it in the family and my son is fourteen so I guess he was just inherit it. You know, 
maybe he'll inherit a event soon. Staff recommends approval of it, yes, sir. Based on the character of the property. Based on the character of the area surrounding it and the uh, general area in which it lies. <coughs> okay. Well, Mr. Chairman, I'd make a motion to approve the request. We have a motion to approve. I hear a second. I'll second. We have a move and second to approve uh, the recommended request. Any discussion? <clears throat> All those in favor, please raise your hand. Any for? Yes, right. If I could make one request, uh, I'd like to request that a copy of the planning and development complete file along with a copy of the video recording be made a part of the record, please, sir. Absolutely. All right, motion voted on and passed. That closes that hearing. Um, item C, we'll have another public, open up another public hearing for item C on the agenda. Again, for conditional use request. I'd like to ask Rodney uh, what the county's recommendation is for the conditional use. Yes, sir, the basic of parameters are all the same. Uh, the county offers, or the staff recommends approval for the conditional use permit. All right, now, we'll turn it over to Bagels, if they would like to. Well, I'll be relatively brief because I stole most of my own thunder on number two, and I apologize. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. <clears throat> just to speak to um, one of the issues, and just to, 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 to reiterate, you know, there. They're only moving it towards agriculture because there was no other way to allow this conditional use for the events there. So it's no, I mean, Mr. Bagwell indicated what he paid for this property. He has no intention of putting it to any uh, foreign use in the way of uh, or agriculture in the sense of farming, et cetera. Um, that being said, this, this particular use, and, and it was correctly noted that, you know, as it was before, you could have put 30 houses on it in terms of one acre parcels, depending on the topography, of course, but that would have been a pretty substantial drain in terms of utilities and, and, and traffic, etc. One of the things that they're, again, proud of, Ms. Bagwell has put a lot of time into planning, to talking to folks um, about this facility. And as you can see, this isn't a pole barn. It's just going to be thrown up uh, with some metal over it. Uh, this is going to be a pretty expensive investment. Um, for this family, and that's why it's so important to them to do it right. Uh, they've already talked with uh, a few third-party contractors who will handle a lot of the actual event uh, oversight, the catering, things of that nature. They will be operating in terms of ownership of the facility, maintenance of the facility, and including uh, requisite compliance with the um, with their own policies. Some of those I spoke to before requiring an age limit on who can actually rent the facility, uh, of course enforcing the hours for the facility's use, um, and things of that nature. And, and just looking in the community, uh, looking in the, you know, what people are enjoying now, what people are using. And you have a situation where I think a lot of people enjoy the outdoors um, and want to take advantage of it, but they still want the protection of a roof. And so this allows sort of that combination for these types of events. Um, and they're excited about the opportunity. Any questions? How close is the nearest house to where this building is going to be? <clears throat> the nearest house, well, we have estimated, based on the road frontage, of being somewhere between 410 and 510. And we back up a little bit, and you can see that the property lines expand. Um, it's hard to say. I've got a, a tighter, more zoomed-in area over here that I can utilize.
maybe this will help us in terms of the houses. And I'm not sure where um you might need to turn this. Oh, sure. <laughs> so there is a house, I believe it's a mobile home on the south side. Mm -hmm. Um and Mr. and Ms. Bagwell have spoken, so that's right here. Uh, Mr. and Ms. Bagwell have spoken to these people and they didn't have any opposition to the plan. I don't nobody's here tonight from from there. And then this is the property line. The nearest house is back here. So the facility will be in this area here. Um, now this is a storage building, correct? An old chicken house has been converted to a storage barn. It's not actually in production with chickens anymore. It's a shop. It's a shop? Okay. It's a shop. And <laughs> And again, the house up here. So, uh, approximating if this is somewhere between 410 and 510, it would be uh, a meaningful dif additional distance to the um, surrounding houses. How is the access off of the main road into there going to be? It will come in here. You can kind of see this is a this is the existing access right now, just dirt access, but uh, along this tree line, is that right? And then curving, the access will come here and then curve up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. So as you can see, that'll maintain this buffer. This is pretty naturally buffered. They're going to add some evergreens along this southern property line to create additional buffer there. Mr. Jackal, what's the investment in that barn, that pole barn you're going to Correct. What's it going to cost? I'm sorry. He just got hearing aids and he's having trouble hearing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the investment in the barn is probably, I'm going to say probably $300,000, $325,000 is what I'll have in at the end of the day. It's not a it's not a average barn. Other questions? I got a question about whether it's needed or not. We've already got ten or twelve of these things in the county, hadn't we? There's about four or five that I can think of off the top of my head. Well, we issued beer license week four last for two more. Mm -hmm. We're doing one right up the road from where they're at. Mm -hmm. So, if I was going to invest that kind of money, <laughs> I'd do some checking, I think. Do you have questions? Okay, we have Miss um, uh, Knox. Yes, sir. Uh, I have quite a few questions for all of the involved. <laughs> uh, one, has land been parked yet so that we know that the building can actually go where they want it to go? Uh, um, Roger, do you have any idea? I have no idea on that. Because that parking the land makes a big difference. <laughs> because you might want it to go in that field, but that field's a ridge line. And so whether or not it can go there is a question. Where's parking going to go? Are they going to fence the entire property to prevent wayward, drunken individuals from wandering. <laughs> I've been to plenty of weddings. I know what happens. <laughs> been in a few, too. Um, so what are you going to do to protect the surrounding properties? I, I have animals. The people that they allow to hunt on that property now, unfortunately, have their deer stand pointed right at my horses, which is a problem in and of itself. But then if you're going to have a bunch of strangers wandering around that are drunk, what's to stop them from wandering right across the, the easement to go pet a pretty pony? Okay, it's that my horses are elite athletes, they're not backyard pets, so that's, that's a very valid concern for me. <laughs> uh, what are they going to do to prevent noise violations? The gentleman that lives in Westbrook's house, I'm surprised Westbrook isn't actually here tonight, uh, 
he's real, he's the gentleman who uses the shop that used to be a chicken house. Uh, he's real sensitive to sound. He's called on my dogs for protecting my horses from coyotes. So I can't even let my dogs protect my horses from coyotes without him calling and being threatened to have them taken away. But he's going to be okay with party goers until 10 o'clock at night because the noise ordinance is past 9 p.m. The dogs have to be inside. That's just two dogs protecting against coyotes. And now you're going to talk about an event center full of people and cars coming in and out and loud music and drink it. I mean, I'm all, I'm all for having a good time. <laughs> I'm not saying otherwise. But that's just one individual, never mind all the surrounding houses. And furthermore, where they're talking about the access coming in runs right up that property line, right past my property. But current access that they have been using is my and uh, Westbrook's easement along with the Williams that live in the back. I have a letter that they mailed, emailed to y'all. I have a copy of it. I'm surprised that that hasn't been brought into, into this discussion. Kathy and Lee Williams. Mm -hmm. uh, they have some pretty severe concerns <laughs> as well. Because, again, and a lot of it goes back to whether or not the land's been burnt. Because just because you want it to go somewhere doesn't mean that you can build it there. That's part of the building permit process. The permit process. Yes, right. they have to go to the health department before we can even issue a building permit. So. Yeah, that's the next step. But, yeah, it's not but still very valid because where it, where it can be built versus where you want it to be built is not the same thing. Having been in the, in the construction industry as spread, we're familiar with these things. Uh, and so it might end up being that it gets pushed closer to a property line or you have to move an awful lot of a lot of dirt because that property does this. It just you know. <laughs> So my question is what what are you gonna have in place to protect against some of these things? What are you or is is the property gonna be fully fenced to prevent people from watering? What are you gonna do about noise and traffic? Um, because I get that it's gonna be open until ten PM in and of itself, okay, fine. Not really so much of an issue, but it is to several of the neighbors. Not everybody's a night owl. And the aesthetic value. And traffic. You can't say that there's not gonna be traffic, although it's it's highly five for traffic. <laughs> Mr. Tyler, is there anything you'd like to add? Uh may I ask a question? As opposed to making a statement? To us, you can. Yeah. That, well, that's what I wanted to ask. What constitutes a special event venue? What is sounds like a pretty broad term. It is. A, it is a fairly broad term. I mean, we've had everything from tree houses to similar venues of this year to. Um, um, Open renovated air. houses, the open air concert. Yeah, I mean it's it's it's. Yeah. Almost anything that you can. Okay. Almost anything you can. Uh, yeah. Well, that's that, that's kind of what I had in my right. head, but I wanted to make sure. Yes. Yeah. No, you're right. So if if the uh, the wedding venue goes south, what's what's to stop anybody, Mr. Bagwell or anybody else, from Going from a wedding venue to a concert venue. I mean, is there any measure when you make a request for a special events venue? Do you, as a planning zoning board, uh, uh, put stipulations, or, or is it just it's either yes or no a special events venue? We we have. Put or, or I guess limitations on there, requests and all that. Now, a lot of things like, for instance, a concert venue, the county does have a noise ordinance. Okay, okay. so that would fall really under the sheriff's office as far as complaints. And you know, if somebody's having a another Woodstock concert in Jasper, Georgia, and it's one o'clock in the morning on Sunday morning. You know, that that would fall under you know. The, the, the nuisance ordinance or noise ordinance there. Um, so a lot of that is all, would already be covered. But you know, to your point, 
if they wanted to have a small outdoor concert till 9.59, you know, I, I'm assuming they could as long as it... <coughs> Is that the time limit, 10 o'clock? I'm ignorant, I don't know. 10 o'clock, what, what they stipulated here. Okay. Uh, in the paper last Wednesday, in the editorial page, there was a little blurb about the county commissioners uh, uh, not having any set guidelines for special event venues and, and the need for the guidelines. That, is, that, is, is that beyond your purview here? Is that strictly the county commissioners? Or? Well, they mean, would have the final say on, on it. You know, we've been asking for two years, I guess, two and a half years, for a while. <laughs> on giving us guidelines, templates, something to go by. To, to go by. And fortunately, Rodney, um, in the last, since he's been involved as, as the interim director of planning and development, he's jumped on board and he started getting the ball rolling and getting us a guideline to go over and discuss and have, I guess, next month's meeting um, that will if we approve it, it'll go before the Board of Commissioners for final approval. But, I mean, to, to, to what, that was essentially accurate what, what you were referring to. So that's what, the reason we've been struggling for <coughs> several... Well, no doubt in my mind, no doubt. Uh, but is it prudent to approve it carte blanche with no guidelines? I mean, I, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I mean, Harold said that there's 12. I didn't realize there was that many, but there's uh, somewhere around that. Many. There's probably that was that's, that had been approved or maybe grandfathered right. in, and I don't know how many in the last couple of years, Fred, that <coughs> has come before us. Well, I know down there at the corner of Annie on Church Road and Talking Rock Road, the guys <coughs> building one that the Talking Rock Realty, Joel sold up, sold that property to a guy that's. That's, that's his. He told me that was exactly what he planned to do. And I saw trusses sitting out there this week, this last week. <coughs> so oh, a special event venue? A wedding. It's just a wedding venue. And, I mean, I'm, there's no doubt in my mind that Mr. and Ms. Bag will intend to do that initially. But I'm not investing $325,000 and that goes out and I don't try something else. I'm doing something else. <laughs> For that very reason, I'm opposed to it, if, if that matters at all. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, sir. Thanks for coming out. Any other questions or comments from the board? I have a comment. I just do not think these are appropriate for agricultural land. The thing that I could find the closest was commercial recreational facility um, and, and retreat centers. And that was, um, they're permitted um, um, highway business and, and other things, and I don't know why. This is, this is a business. This is not an agricultural it's not enterprise. Agricultural. It just isn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not agricultural. No, it's not. It has nothing to do with agriculture. And I don't think it's suitable for agricultural land. It's, it's my personal opinion. Any other questions? And I don't know. Really there are a lot of houses that you look at the map that are around this. And I personally would not want to. There was something at 10 o'clock and no one enforces it. If you look at this map, you can see there's a lot of lots around there. But uh, that, that's my main. Mr. Table, may I ask another question? Yes, sir. If, uh, if, if this gets approved, because my land borders this land in the, on the west, southwest side. Using the logic that you guys use to rezone in agriculture, and personally, I really don't care that it's from agriculture, but using that logic, I can get a special events venue permit or, or, or what do you call it, uh, 
Conditional. Conditional. Yeah, conditional permit for a special events venue strictly because my land borders his land and he's got one. Is, is that following the logic? If, if you're in agriculture, actually I'm a rural residential, I believe. But there's agriculture all around. I don't see how you could deny me agriculture. Well, you <laughs> You know, if you meet the qualifications, right. then it'd be the same process that the bagels are going through right now. And it'd be the same logic, though. Since there's a special events venue there, barring my land with some agriculture, I could get a special events permit. It's, it's possible. Then more than possible, maybe probable? <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> over the last two or three years, I'd say we're 50-50. Half of them have passed. Half of them have not. Now, I may not be exactly it. I'm just yeah, turning off memory, but right. it, it's pretty close to 50 50. But if I come up with a compelling argument, I'd probably be successful. Okay. There, I mean, there's a chance. I mean, <laughs> the reason we voted for it some and against some is the one uh, Dunn Manor out in Hinton a couple of years ago. Um, no one was here in opposition to it. And there was not a single person in opposition to it. Um, of course, there was really no, no houses nearby that property either. But um, up near Long Swamp Church, uh, a few months ago, there was a little B and B type thing that was passed. Um, yeah, the one at Philadelphia Church, right there on Philadelphia Road. Mm -hmm. It was similar to this here. Their driveway. I mean, adjoined, I mean, it touched the parking lot of Philadelphia Church. We turned it down because yeah, you know, it was a church. And the church was there a while. About 170 <coughs> some years ago. Yeah. But, um, so anyhow, I mean, like I said, you know, it, we, we take one case by case, one request at a time. And, Try to balance it out and make a fair a, a, a decision. Right. Well, I don't envy your job, but thank you for <laughs> your service. <laughs> Sometimes it's it's, it's it's not it's not as easy as what well, you know. I appreciate you saying that, but I mean, I mean you've been building a long time. You, I'm sure you've had to go through some of this. Yeah. yeah. So. I have. May I say Mr. something? Oh, yes, Mr. Patrick. Mm. This piece of property, um, you know, I've not monitored it, but uh, there's been four wheelers mm -hmm. riding on it. There's been horses riding on it. Yep. Without permission. Without permission. So to say, am I going to put fences up to keep my people in? Maybe I should put fences to keep the other people out. Exactly. Sometimes fences make good neighbors. So. And yeah. we've never had a hunting accident. Never once. Yeah. Has there been anything happen there yeah. that's put anybody and, in harm? And the boys that hunt on it, I've, I've, known, I've known them since they were kids, and they're well-behaved <laughs> kids. They've become great men. They hunt with bows mostly. And um, we've told them to respect you know, the other you know, people's land they, because they we want to be good neighbors. They we don't. And said to the people that's riding four wheelers on it, even though they're drinking over there about half drunk, you know, maybe shouldn't be. I would confront them, you know, and said, hey, do you have permission to be riding over here? No. Well, I probably wouldn't come back over here, you know, but uh, the horse trails that goes through there, you know, I, I've rode horses for you, but I respected other, people, other people's property yeah. enough that I didn't get on there. So, fences, sure. If I need to put fences up to keep the horses out, I can do that too. And the comment I was going to make, I was supposed to make earlier, was that in fact, yes, there will be fencing on these borders. 
for all the reasons that have been discussed. But yeah, that's part of the large plan. Not only to have the evergreen buffer, but also to have solid fencing uh, along those property lines. And Ms. Battle spoke with Mr. Westbrook. I know he's not here today. But she spoke with him, told him exactly what the plan was, and... Shirley was all for it. I know Harold and Shirley, and they were all for it. We've actually spoke to the man that lives in the house there, and he was excited about it. Um, so I, I'm not sure if somebody's telling us something different, or uh, we respectfully tried to, you know, we didn't have time to go to everybody because we work, but we want to be good neighbors. We want to help the community. The closest, um, the two closest houses there, we've spoken to. And they've agreed to it. Um, I, 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 want to be good. I don't want to, where I live, I wouldn't want to hear, you know, stuff. You know, I want to be, I want to respect them and I want them to respect us. We've worked hard, we paid for this land. Um, you know, we was not giving this land by our parents. We worked hard and sweated for it and paid for it. And um, I think it would help the look of the area. Well, we're not going to put some commercial building up. It's going to be a nice country setting. Um, I've got a company, I've spoke to a company that's going to, um, you know, work with this. It's not going to be a drunken brawl. I'm not like that. I don't drink. We do not drink. It's not going to be just a throw down party. I don't like that. I'm not going to have that. Um, I wanted to actually, um, I believe in giving back. I've got a 14 year old son. I wanted to um, come Christmas time, if I actually got to do the event center, I wanted to try to go to some of the schools here and search for maybe some kids that didn't have anything at Christmas and bring in Santa Claus. And, and Stacy and I put back money to buy maybe five or six families Christmas. And this is the truth. I mean, I, I want to show my son that you have to, you know, I, I believe the good Lord gives you extra, you know, you, you, you pay that favor back and bring in some kids. This is not just a party facility. Um, yes, I do want to make money. I've got to make money. I've got to make a living. But I really want to, you know, go get some kids that maybe have no Christmas and get with some of the schools and, and bring in Santa Claus and, and maybe give them a little Christmas. You know, um, do some community stuff, too. It's, it's you know, um, I, I do want this to be my living. I'm not trying to say that. But this is not a party facility. I mean, it's going to be control a controlled environment. And I'm putting a lot of money into this, and, and I'm going to, you know, I want it to work. But I want everybody, I don't want people to hate us. I'm not about that. I, I want to be good neighbors. Um, you know, this land's set up here forever. I, I want to make it, you know, I want to make it successful. I'm not going to put chicken houses on it. I don't raise chickens. I don't know anything about chickens. But, you know, I want it to be nice, and we've already put a lot of money into this. And, you know, I would like everybody to be, you know, enjoy it. Do y'all live near Pie? We live in Dawson. Okay. That's why I saw them. Ms. Bagwell, it sounds like you obviously have thought a lot about this. So, tell me, tell us what research you've done. That's what I well, I've just thought, and I know there's, the like the gentleman up. said, um, that there is a facility on every corner. I understand that, but, you know, they're all booked. Um, you know, and I, I think, um, I'm just really, I love to do landscaping. I love to do the architect, like drawing the barn out and, and it, coming up with our own ideas. I mean, it's, I want it to be a family thing. My son, he, um, he was, he's 14, and he restores John Deere tractors. And I want him to be able, you know, if they have a wedding, to carry people with his tractors, you know, from the parking lot to the barn and, and let him get involved in this. And, um, you know, especially the Santa Claus, you know, let him make, you know, just see how business works and, and how we work together as a family. Um, you know, we only have one son. And we're all about doing stuff together. And I just feel like this is something that we can all enjoy and, and maybe make some money, too. I'm not saying I don't want to make money. I've got to make a living. But I think this is just something we can enjoy as a family. We love farm life. We live out in the country now. Um, like I say, my son has his tractors. And I just thought it would be a cool idea 
you know, we've, we've got a parking lot here. The barn's going to be on the back of the property. Let my son, you know, take people as they get out of their car in the back of his tractor with his trailer. And, you know, just, uh, just make it a family event. Uh, I'm not doing this to make anybody mad. I want to be a good neighbor. I want to, I mean, we're going to invest a lot of money in the in the landscaping, and I think it would, in, if you saw the property, I think it would improve. I mean, there's broken fences, the trailer at the back, it don't even look livable. I mean, and that seems to be from where the, some of the problems that we've had over the years stimulates from. I mean, I don't know who they are, but I know they've given us a lot of problems on our property. Can I say something briefly? I'm sorry. Oh, I think the event center and the schematics and the drawings of this is beautiful. In and of itself. I think it's a beautiful rendition of what could be. Where on the property it goes makes a huge difference. The back side of that property, way back in the corner, where you can have beautiful woodland trails back there, where you can go by the pond, where you're back there nestled in the woods and like a little like romantic woodland venue wow. <laughs> in and of itself would be beautiful but if you have it up front where everybody's houses are or you do have unfortunately drunken people on four wheelers that decapitate themselves and general traffic then it's going to be unruly to everybody but around it if if it goes on that clear bridge line Back side of the property is a completely different story in my mind. Because if it's back there in that back northwest corner, it's not near our house. Nobody's going here. Well, well you all, y'all you know, are. Our property touches that. Yeah, but it's way, it's way back from. That's acres and acres yeah, of everybody I mean, involved we, then. Well, we're only on 2.6 acres. I mean, and even. Me and Kathy Williams, they got their one little acre, and my property wraps behind theirs, and yours wraps behind theirs, and then theirs wraps behind it. They, even they, who are trying to be as insulated as possible, that's why they just bought their house and sold their lake house, would be insulated from it. it. It's not that the venue in and of itself isn't beautiful, and it's not that the concept of being able to give back to the community isn't beautiful. It's how, when, where that is more of an issue. Where At least you, for me. Where is your house adjacent to the property? Uh, right next to Westbrook's. Uh, the other yellow house. Are you on in No, place? that's the car. Well, you need to I'll be happy to talk to you. Y'all can talk that after. I mean, could you point it out over there? Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, this is a no, old schematic no, exchange. We're, we're not, yeah, again, this is between us and. The easement that they use to have access to it currently is my driveway. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions? Yeah. Um, Mr. Ed Bagwell, are you willing to possibly consider um, the placement? <coughs> in a way that might address, I'm not asking you to commit to it today, but if you're willing to consider ultimately where you place the building. Well, we want the building on that back side. I mean, you, you can't have a wedding venue right up next to those houses. And not that I'm being rude, but it's, you can't, nobody's going to, who's going to get married when you have, it's just not feasible. It's back next to that. It's in the back where the, narrow spot is. You know, Would you mind pointing it out? Can you show me this? Exactly. Because I think it's like a clear pasture area. Because I want it to be a wood set natural. Because right. what I understood was in that little clearing clear section. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're staying somewhere along in this area. But as far back as you can go. Right in here. And this would be the open air venue back here. The pond is going to get bigger. I want to make it bigger. Well, this is Harold Westbrook's. And this is uh, his sister's old house right here. Is this? The Williams are there now. Okay. And you're here? <coughs> no. That's, that's me. That's you? That's me. That's yeah, there's a cliff right there. Yeah. So okay. I, I can't even get to where he's at. 
over here. That's us. Nobody? No, that's us. That's you? Yeah. Okay. So I'm up in here. Like, wouldn't the, the wedding venue would be back here? That's where yeah. I wanted to go. Yeah. Like, kind of like right here. Like, nothing would be happening on this side because there's a cliff. I want it nestled. You know how you kind of look down that, I call it a valley, it's really not, but I want it kind of nestled back in there. Just to give it a natural setting. Not up by the Westbrook Harold's home place. Not up there. Well, where we, um, I guess where we were confused is we thought it was in that bare area there. Yeah. In the barren area. That's where the building is going to be. Yes, at the back. So it's, it's not going to be where the tree line is in that little clear spot there. No, it's going to be the back right back, hand corner. Back corner. That's the building yes. is going to be back there. The barn. Yes, the, the barn, barn is going to be in that back. It's like a it's like a valley, a little opening, and I'm going to set I'm going to the setting back in the woods. I guess the part of the computer is this, one of the drawings that comprise seems to imply that it's closer to the front. Okay, it's nowhere near the front because I don't, you know, I want it to be natural. I don't think anybody's going to get married if they're going to look at a bunch of houses and homes. Nobody's going to want that. Yeah, the showing the growth of the road. Yeah, the showing the growth of the road. 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 The showing the growth of the so this drawing, I'm, I'm assuming, is not accurate with here. You're saying it's going to be back here. The open area up there is the pasture. That's what you're looking at. The open area. Yeah. So she's saying just behind the open area. That's what she's talking about. For the back. Now, is that for the open air at the back? Because you're drawing the, the building itself the of the building up front. Yeah, exactly. mm -hmm. What is an open show us show, show right here. They're going to have a pavilion and a barn. Is that, is that what the plan said? Because this is just showing a big barn, but not a pavilion. The pavilion, well. no. We've had a big barn. So, I like you know, how here's, this is what it's showing right now. If money allows, does it allow yeah, right now? You get the pond. <laughs> so the ponds, I'm assuming somewhere like right here. There a pond the pond right here. Where's the open air? The open air should be right here. 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 The barn? Yeah. Is that back in the back corner? Because no, that's right in the back corner. You're not going that far. Yeah. So what, what's the open area? What's like to put over the Well, that'll be later. That'll come later looking over the pond. It'll okay. be down at the pond. Okay, so I'll be at the it's pond. It's not even going to be so in the So I get the pond retrofitting. Okay, so, all right, so the barn's going back here or in this back corner. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then at some point in time in the future, near future, whatever. It'll be down at the pond. Down at the pond. So nothing is going to be up near Highway 5. No. No, absolutely no. not. Is that the parking lot's going to be? I don't think so. The parking lot's going to be in the pasture. The parking lot's going to be up in here. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm assuming yeah. that's what that cleared off area there is the pasture. That's the pasture. Yeah, so that's the parking lot. Sure. So the, all that activity will be back, back here. Yes. Right. Yes. Hands back here. Right. There's nothing back here. Well, there's a field here. Right. And this is where an old trailer is at the bottom. Right. Just give us the most trouble. Right. 
Thank you. And then I'll retrofit the, the pond, actually, back there. I'm going to redo the dam and everything back there. To make it bigger. Is the plan. <coughs> All right, uh, Mr. Chairman, I would recommend that based on the revised drawing indicating the location of the primary venue where the, where the activities will primarily take place, that that drawing be part of the record, and that on that basis, I would recommend approval of the request. We have a motion to recommend approval. Do I hear a second? Based on this very rough sketch here. I'll second. Got a moving second. Any discussion? All those in favor, please raise your hand. All those opposed? Motions denied. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask again that uh, a copy of the planning and development file along with a copy of the video be included into the case file, please? Absolutely. Thank you. Pardon? Thank you. Yeah. That closes that public hearing. Um, next item. On the agenda is uh, I'm sure. <laughs> board comments. Any board comments? Thanks for coming out. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Any other comments? The next item is uh, public comments. Anything anyone would like to comment on? Next item is adjournment. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn. There. Moving in second. Any discussion? All those in favor, please raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you.